Welcome everybody to a brand new video. In today's video, I just want to have a conversation with you guys and just talk about me, really just give an update on me, you know, where I've been at, why I haven't been uploading as consistently. I hate these type of videos because it doesn't matter that I haven't been uploading. I mean, I, I completely acknowledge this. It doesn't really matter that I'm not uploading. I could just come back at any time and just start making videos again. I, I hate videos like this, you know, why I haven't been uploading because I feel like back in the day I used to make these videos all the fucking time. But over the years as I've gotten more consistent, I haven't had to make these videos as often. But regardless, for anybody who is curious what's been going on through my day to day, because I'd say for the past like two weeks, I haven't been uploading as consistently. I've just been uploading my GTA videos every single Thursday and just keeping it at that. I'm not gonna stretch this out any longer than it needs to be. I really quickly just wanna give you guys an update on me, what I've been up to, and as a result, why I haven't been uploading as much. And I'm gonna hop straight into it. The main reason for this is because recently, I have been more focused on getting a job than I have with YouTube. The reason for this is because ever since February, I haven't actually had a job. This entire time, over these last six months, I have not had any source of income. And you guys might be thinking, well, how the hell are you keeping okay? Like, how are you going this long without making money? Well, I had an emergency fund, and I've been living on that for a long time. But unfortunately, I have not been able to obtain another job in a very long time because of coronavirus. Of course, when coronavirus struck, a lot of places started to close down, and only recently are we starting to see places start to open back up, and as a result, I've seen a lot more advertisements for jobs, and I've had a bigger opportunity to actually go out, apply myself, and hopefully land something soon. And that is good timing, because while yes, I did have an emergency fund, and I've been able to go six months without any income, without a sweat, it is getting a little tight. I am starting to approach the point where those funds that I saved up are drying up. And so I need to get a job. No, I am not desperate yet, but give it maybe a month or two, I could see myself getting into a position where I'm a little desperate and I need a job soon. I am looking to become a barista again. Thankfully, a lot of coffee shops are opening back up. There are plenty of opportunities out there. For the past few days, I have been going out and applying like fucking crazy. I've been handing in so many resumes. I've been sending so many emails. And I do have a feeling that I am going to land something soon. So I'm not stressing too much. I am a little bit because I am worried. You know, what if I don't get something or what if we go into lockdown and again and I still don't have a job? It does worry me, but I just want to say off the bat, don't worry about me. I will be fine. I still have my investment money. If worse comes to worst, I can sell off all of my investments and make a, a lot of money that will keep me going for quite a bit of time. But anyway, as I said, I am looking for a job and it's been my main focus. I've found it very, very difficult to focus on YouTube when the idea of I need to get a job is in the back of my head uh, very frequently and it's something that from time to time I tend to get a little anxious about. Just put it simply, my mind has not been focused on YouTube and I don't want to bullshit you guys. I don't want to make videos if my mind is just not there. I'm just not having a good time. If I'm focused on something else and I just simply can't focus on the videos, making the best content that I possibly can, I, I don't really feel like it's worth it. You know, I don't do YouTube for a job. It it's not a job for me. I don't make any money from it. There's no point in stressing over it. So that is ultimately what it comes down to. My mind has just been way more focused on getting a job as soon as possible, and not so much on YouTube. Now, with that being said, I will still upload. I'm not going anywhere. I am going to come back at some point, but just know that if things are slowing down a little bit, it's because I just need this little bit of time to focus on things that are more important. Because as much as, you know, I don't like to say it, YouTube is not that important for me. Yes, I enjoy doing it on the side. It's a side project. I have fun with it. 
sometimes responsibilities come up in life that just require your attention far more than having fun. I want to do as much as possible to set myself up to have the best future I possibly can and sitting around and focusing on YouTube when it's not really a priority is not really a good idea. And I already know what you guys are thinking. Brandon, how the fuck do you expect to get a job with this haircut? Don't worry, I'm going to be getting a haircut tomorrow because before I get called in for any interviews, I want to ensure that I am presentable. Anyway, that is pretty much the gist of it. I don't feel like I need to stretch this video any longer than it needs to be. That is pretty much the main reason why I've sort of slowed down a little bit. I still got the GTA videos out because I just felt wrong missing the GTA events and those videos really don't take me that long to make. But when it comes to other videos that I've been focusing on more, like the top to bottom series or the deep discog dive series, those take a considerable amount of more time to make because I have to listen to an album, I need to make sure I have my attention towards the album, I need to take my notes, I need to record the video, which generally speaking the raw file is quite long, then I have to edit the video and put it out. Deep discog dive and top to bottom take up a lot more time, sometimes it takes a few days of work to get one of those videos out and in the position I'm in right now looking for a job, I can't really sacrifice all of that time. I need to be out, I need to be talking to managers, I need to be handing in resumes. Right now I am not in a position where I could just slack off and just put things off for later because if I put things off for later anymore, I might get into a position where I'm not making any money and I don't have any money left and that would be a really bad place for me to be in. But on a final note, to speak of top to bottom, deep discog dive, those series, I am still working on those series, don't worry. When it comes to top to bottom, I haven't really heard any albums or I haven't heard of any artists that have come out with music that I would necessarily want to review because my musical palette isn't as wide as someone like Anthony Fantano he'll always have an artist to review because he knows like hundreds of artists. While me, my palette is considerably smaller. And so when it comes to top to bottom, that is definitely a slower series for me, but Deep Discog Dive is there for me if I want to fill in that gap where I'm not uploading top to bottom. And speaking of Deep Discog Dive, the next episode is Kanye West, The Life of Pablo. Don't worry, I've already started the notes on that and I have left it for a little bit because as I said, I'm more focused on getting a job, but that video will come out at some point, maybe the next week or two. I am still currently working on it, but don't worry, The Life of Pablo Pablo by Kanye West, that review will come out soon. One final, final, final note before we wrap this video up here is I've noticed that for some reason, even though I've been uploading less, I have seen a bigger growth in my channel. For some reason, my channel is just doing better than ever. It's only been three months since we hit 700 subscribers and I am already halfway or more than halfway to getting 800. I don't know why all of a sudden my channel is just growing faster than it's ever been, but thank you, thank you, thank you to anybody who has come along and who is deciding to stick around. And even if you're not, Thank you for checking me out in the first place. But yeah, with that being said, I am going to wrap this up here. See ya guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you smack the like button. If you want to stay up to date with my content, please be sure to subscribe. I'll have my last video in the corner. If you haven't checked that out already, definitely make sure to check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out.